basically I've been asked to show how we rig a live quarantine for Cobb, for Garrick. Um, pretty much the same as we do when we're doing it for Shad. So what we've got here is big gun, 1-0, which will give you two hooks back to back like that. We just tied up with a bit of latex cotton. We tie a figure of eight on 25 kilo nylon, 19 kilo nylon, it's up to you. We do not pull the knot all the way down. So how we do that is we tie a figure of eight and we actually put a pen inside there and we pull the knot with a pair of pliers as tight as we can and the knot would basically bite in like that. Now, for rigging purposes, if you've got a live bait that you're gonna slide, the best way to do it, and I'm using this quarantine here, is to take the hook and stick it in through the top, pretty much like that. Bearing in mind, this part of the quarantine is very, very soft. And if you do get a garrick or a cob that grabs it from behind and swims off, normally a smaller fish, what happens is the hook tears out. So to prevent that from happening, we just take our hook on the top and we just remove one or two of the scales. If you have a look there, that's all I've done, is just remove one or two of the scales. We then take our toothpick, slide our toothpick in and under the skin, and preferably a very thin toothpick. So there we go, you can see where it is, it's sitting over there. We take our scissors, cut that off, slide the toothpick again underneath, we then take our hook and where the toothpick is, we go underneath, up and around, not too deep. Now what happens is, if I can put it down, you can actually see if I pull against it, it's actually pulling against the toothpick. So you see there, it's pulling against the toothpick. The toothpick is stopping that hook from actually coming out. And that's basically how we would slide a live caro for a cob or a garrick if I was using a shed as bait. So there's your slide bait. Pretty much like that. Obviously the, when it's sliding, the slide is going to pull the quarantine as a live bait all the way down. And there's your live quarantine. Basically rigged, ready for a cob or a garrick. Another very good way of doing it. If it had to be a throw bait, and you were on the beach wading up to here and you wanted to throw a bait. Just take the hook out there quickly. Again, what we do is the bottom side over here. We do exactly the same thing. We remove a couple of scales here. So we just use our hook to remove it. So we remove the two scales over there. And we take the toothpick and we insert the toothpick over there. I'm just going to show you quickly. Okay. Get a knife quickly. I'll just use this one to sharpen this toothpick up. And this is a very thick toothpick. We prefer the thinner bamboo ones. They actually do work a little bit better for this job. I'm going to sharpen this one because I've used it. Okay, so we take that, we slide it underneath and just under the skin, you can see I'm going under the skin, I'm not going deep into the actual quarantine. Cut this part off over here. Okay, push them in. And again if we're going to throw it, take it, hook it underneath where the toothpick is. And I'm leaving this big so you can actually see the toothpick. Normally I'd shove it in a little bit deeper. But if you have a look there, you can see, and I'm pulling against it, the actual toothpick is now holding the hook. So it doesn't tear out when you actually throw. Okay, so the quarantine will sit and swim around. The garrick or the cob will come around, inhale it. You give it a bit of line, gong, 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 hit and hold. And that's pretty much how we rig our quarantine for live bait if we're going to throw it. You can, however, use two single hooks, 
which would mean one hook goes there and the second hook would basically go in over there and come out if you're using two hooks. Okay, simple as that for throwing a live quarantine.